What is going on guys and gals of YouTube and MLPB fans? I am Anthony. I am your coach for the California Kyogres for MLPB Season 4. This is the finals. The finals of MLPB Season 4. The championship match. I am your Sun Conference champion, California Kyogres. I am the number one seed going into this. And I am also the defending champion from season three of MLPB so I am looking to go back to back and this is the matchup that I have to do it with uh, we are facing off against the moon conference champion Frisco Oracorios and their coach Domino definitely check out his channel link down below in the description over here in the iCard under my finger we are doing the same format that we did for the conference championships we are battling with not one but two burning shadows three pack blisters and because we are the home team, <coughs> we get not one, not two, not three, not four, but five competitive picks. So if you guys are hyped for this battle, if you guys are hyped for this championship match, and you guys are proud members of the Primal Crew, make sure you smash that like button down below and show your support for the channel. And if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more great TCG, Let's Play, and other random videos. And again, do not forget to check out Domino's channel down below under the finger. So... With that being said, I need to pick five competitive picks. For a little refresher, here are the picks that we had in our conference championship match. And these brought us to this point right now. Logic would say to go with those same competitive picks. I don't know. Blisters are always different. So that's why I've got my handy dandy little trainer's guide here. And we are going to take our time, and we are going to look to see what we need or what we should pick. Now, I've been told to go one uncommon, well, one common, two uncommons, two rares. That's not a bad mix, considering that in a lot of these you get green codes, and you can always find yourself getting a lot of non-hollow rares. I don't know if that's the case. That's a little... Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's good logic, but it's not necessarily the logic I might go with. So, I'm sorry if that's not, you know, how you feel. So, for my first pick, I'm going with number 2 out of 147. That is Metapod. That is an uncommon choice. I really want to go Charmeleon or Wimpod because I seem to pull those a lot. You know what? I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with my gut feeling and go with number uh, uh, number 16 out of 147, which is Wimpod. That is a common. As much as we've pulled uh, Semi-Seer or Semi-Poor, I feel like I might get a lot of those. I'm going to stick with the one that brought me to the dance. I'm going to go with number one, uh, number 37 out of 147, which is semi poor. That's another uncommon choice. This is difficult, guys. I am sorry. I'm going to go. Have I pulled a lot of him? I don't feel like I have. I'm going to go a little off the grail here. Number 79 out of 147. That is. Pasimian. That is a rare. And now a lot of me wants to... I'm going to go with the trainer in this one. And a lot of me is telling to go for Potown. Because we didn't pull a single Potown the last time. It's either Potown or it's Mount Latakia. I'm going to go with number 118 out of 147. That is Mount Latakia. And that is the third uncommon choice. Here are our selections for this. Number 2 out of 147, Metapod. Number 16, Wimpod. Number 37, Simipor. 79, Passimian. And number 118, Mount Lanakila. For every common, which is only the one, we will earn ourselves one additional point. For each one of the uncommons, two additional points. And for the one rare, three points. I'm putting all my hope and my trust into those competitive picks. So now, as I open up these blisters, 
for the final time for MLPB Season 4. Allow me to go over the point system for you guys one more time. Reverse Hollow Rares will be worth one point. Hollow Rares will be worth two points. GXs, excuse me, GXs will be worth three points. Full Arts will be worth four points. And if you happen to pull a Secret Rare, a Rainbow Rare, or a Hyper Rare, whatever, you know, manner of choosing, stupid coin, you will earn five points to your total. Here are the two coins, two Lucarios, not too surprising there. Here are the codes. You get one for the Alone the Meowth, one for the Cosmog. Focus, thank you. And here are said promos. We have seen these on the channel before, but just in case you don't remember, Cosmog is Sun and Moon promo 42, and Alone the Meowth is number 43. And here is the pile of six packs that we have to battle with. The final six packs of this season. So Domino, congratulations on reaching to the finals. Congratulations on a great season of battling. But without further ado, let us get the championship match of MLPB Season 4 underway. There's a part of me that kind of wanted to go with AK. I don't know why. Alright, we got Inke, Stuffle, Stuffle was the one that I pulled a lot, Crab Brawler, Mor Morlo, uh uh uh, Sandy Gas, Simipore, and again, number 37 out of 147. That is two points to our total. Super Scoop Up, Sim Viper, we got a Weavile Reverse Hollow Rare, that is another point, and Electivire Non Hollow Rare. So we are already up to three points. Out of one pack, I knew Simi Poor would not let me down. It never has. Well, it hasn't been the last year, I guess say. Alright. We got ourselves a Tynamo. Tynamo I thought about. Duskull was another one I'd consider. There's the NK again. Crab Brawler. Stuffle. Porygon 2. Charmeleon. Wobbuffet, Togedemaru, Reverse Hollow, Common, and Persimian on Hollow Rare. But that is fine because that is number, focus, 79 out of 147. That is three points to our total. Next up, Tapu. We got ourselves a Riolu, Meowth, Alolan Vulpex, Wimpod. I knew Wimpod was going to show up. Number 16 out of 147. That is one point. Togedemaru, Sophocles, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Simipor for another two points. And Alolan Grimer, Reverse Hollow Common. And our rare is a Dark Rye GX. That is another three points to our total. Don't know what we're at right now. I'm going to put it on screen. You guys will know what the total is. We've got three more packs to go. We're already in double digits as far as I know. I hope we are. That's a lot of points that we've opened so far. Not mean to flip you down like that grass energy. I'm sorry. Unless the beef, don't kill me. It was an accident. Pikachu. Crow Gunk. Up. Uh, Pants Age. Monkey. Stuffle. Meowth. Lunatone. Caesar. Chameleon. Acerola Reverse Solo Uncommon. Not the trainer we're looking for. But that is a rainbow rare. We've got. A Necrozma GX Hyper Rare. That is five points added to the total. All right, we've got two more packs to go. Three, 
four. Some of these cars are damaged beyond all belief. All right, well, we got a horsey, venipede, sandy ghast, morlo, crab brawler, electabuzz, sophocles, bodybuilding dumbbells, sub viper reverse hollow uncommon, and a bruxish non hollow rare. Our last pack, our last chance for any more points with Tapufini. Tapufini, do you have anything? She's got a positive look on her face. She's like, are you serious? You're asking me this question, dumb dumb? Let's see if that can come to fruition. All right. We got an Alolan Rattata, Magikarp. Pan Seer, Cutie Fly, Pan Poor, Wrong Version of the Monkey, Olivia, Kiawe, Rhydon, a Reverse Hollow, is a Wiki, not a Reverse Hollow Uncommon, not the one we we're looking for. And our final rare to end off MLPB Season 4 is a Gyarados Hollow Rare. So that would be another two points added to the total. So let's count this up. I know it's already on screen. But. So with between just the GX, the Necrozma, uh, Hyper Rare, and the you know, Gyarados Hollow, that is 10 points. Simi 4 is 12 points. Simi 4 is 14 points. Passimian is 17 points. Wimpod, 18. Weavile, 19 points. That is one hell of a way to end off this season. So thank you guys again for coming out and checking out today's video. I don't know if I've won, I don't know if I've lost, but please definitely check out the other video. Link down below in the description. And don't forget to like this video. Comment down below on if you enjoyed the season or if you didn't. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great TCG Let's Play and other random videos. But I'm gonna get up out of here. Thank you guys again for coming out and checking out today's video. I've been Anthony, you guys have been the best part of the Primal Crew, and I will catch you guys next time. And as always, thank you all so much for your support, and take it easy.